Hello dear audience, welcome to Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news spice, locally, regionally and internationally. With today's news, I am Miron Gitacho, stay with us. In the first news, as per Pretoria peace agreement, TPLF begins handing over of weapons to federal government. TPLF has commenced the first round handing over of heavy weapons to the federal government of Ethiopia in accordance with the Pretoria peace agreement, the National Defense Force disclosed. Following the peace agreement signed in South Africa and Kenya, TPLF has handed over the first round of heavy weapons to the federal government of Ethiopia. Military observers from different countries attended the handing over that took place in Agula Camp, 36 kilometers from the regional capital, Megale. Official of the Ethiopian National Defense Force, Lieutenant Colonel Alam Tadele confirmed of receiving different heavy weapons located around Agula in accordance to the agreement signed between the federal government and TPLF. The National Defense Force has commenced receiving heavy weapons from TPLF, including armored tanks, various artilleries, rockets, mortars, among others, Lieutenant Colonel Alam said. As per the pistol, we have reached to disarmament. We have continued and received the heavy weapons in Agua, where the weapons were accumulated. African Union observers who witnessed the handing over, Brigadier General Adwa Petro said, the handing over of the weapons begins underway is a crucial move to help sustain the peace agreement. The handing over of weapons begin carried out as per the peace agreement provides entrance for sustainable peace by maintaining constitutionalism, the Brigadier General added. TPLF's representative Mulge Tagabra Christos announced that the handing over of the weapons has been officially commenced in accordance with the agreement. Similarly, the handing over of the weapons will continue in areas where weapons are gathered, he added. As per the peace agreement signed in Pretoria and Nairobi, the handing over of weapons has officially begun in Agoa. The heavy weapons accumulated in Agoa have been handed over in the presence of pertinent actors. The handing over was peaceful, demonstrating sense of collaboration and cooperation. These are also other centers where weapons are accumulated. We will conduct the handing over with similar manner. We are working with confidence that from now on, there should be no chance to open doors for conflict other than the peace mechanisms. Therefore, peace is vital for our people. We will work with all our capacity to realize this. In another news, National Anti-Corruption Coordinating Committee reveals its work in presence of Prime Minister Abe. The National Anti-Corruption Coordinating Committee reviewed the work done so far in the presence of Prime Minister Abi Ahmed. According to Office of the Prime Minister, to far a large number of corruption-related tips have been received from the public. The committee is having this investigated and so far 110 investigation cases have been initiated, it added. It also be recalled that the government of Ethiopia has established a national committee to coordinate its anti-corruption campaigns in November 2022. In the last news, China reframes continued support to efforts of EU to uphold peace, security in continent. Foreign Minister Qin Gang. Chinese Foreign Minister Qin Gang said his country will continue to support efforts of the African Union to uphold peace and security in the continent based on the will of Africans. Chinese Foreign Minister Qin Gang is in Addis Ababa for an official work visit to Ethiopia. The minister has met and discussed with Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Demek Amakondin on various issues of mutual concern on Thursday. He has also inaugurated the newly built headquarters of the African Center for Disease Control and Prevention, African CDC, along with the chairperson of the African Union Commission, Musafaki Mohammed, in his press briefing to journalists following the inauguration ceremony of the China Aided Africa CDC headquarters, where Minister Ching Gang said that China supports African people in resolving African issues in the African ways. China always advocates a common, comprehensive, corporately and sustainable approach, he added. China supports African countries and African Union and strengthens their capability of independence in peacekeeping, stability maintenance and countering terrorism 
and playing a leading role in Africa's peace and security affairs. As good friends, good brother, and good partners of African countries, China will continue to support Africa's unity's effort to uphold peace security based on the will of African side. We are ready to actively participate in the resolution of regional hotspots in Africa, play a constructive role, and make a great contribution to the cause of peace in Africa, is it? The minister noted that we support the United Nations to provide financial support to AU's independence peacekeeping operation. The 80 million USD military assistance has been initially implemented and China appointed specially special inquiry for the Horn of Africa to support regional countries in addressing challenges of security, development and governance. We should boost the representation and voice of developing countries, especially those of African countries and the United Security Council and other international organizations. Pull greater strengths for the cause of global development and security and work together to make the global governance system more just and equitable. Foreign Minister Chin indicated that the right behind us is towering Africa CDC headquarters. It is a new monument building the traditional friendship and hard work of Chinese and African brothers and sisters. It stands as an irrefutable proof to the world that China always supports Africa with concrete actions and that the China-Africa relationship is bound to have a brighter future. The chairperson of the African Union Commission, Musa Fahim Mohammed, on his part said that China always supports Africa and the completion of Africa CDC building reflects such cooperation. It is unacceptable that others decide in the place of others which is not fair. We need a new order at the international level, which we will speak the interest of each other, he said. He added that the cooperation in areas of health with China is the reflection of deep relation with Africa recalling the assistance of the people of China during COVID-19 pandemic. The people of China has contributed and continues to contribute to peace, security and stability on the African continent. Thanks to the assistance of China, we have established a continental base in Daula, Cameroon, while military materials and equipments has a round show. Lake Chad, Brazil, and even Mozambique has benefited from the fight against terrorism, the chairperson of African Union Commission elaborated. African continent has adopted vision, which contains agenda. 2063, the commissioner said, adding that the partnership that we have with China is built on this principle, and we insist and stress mutual interest. The continent has huge natural and human and resource. It doesn't wait for grants rather than for investment. We want partners to invest in a way that ensures mutual benefit. Those were our news for the day. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.